I don't want to drywall. Some call it drywalling. I call it dry whaling. Cause I don't want a mud tape or sand. Hi honey, how's the family reunion? What do you mean you're bringing home Uncle Bill? What about the drywall? I know it's been three months. What do you mean he hasn't forgiven me for filling his mailbox with jello? That was 10 years ago. Federal crime. David, my wife's bringing home her vibes off uncle and the drywall isn't finished. If I don't get it done, she's gonna kill me. What do you mean, can I have your Beyonce tickets? I, the Canvas 1200CX? Never heard of it. It's on TV. Need drywalling done quickly, but tired of mud, tape, and sanding? Well, check out the Canvas 1200CX. All it takes is one mud, one dry, and one sanding. By day three, you're ready to paint. Stay tuned to learn how this amazing robot actually works. But first, a word from our sponsor. The BK Precision 390B Series True RMS Multimeters offer a comprehensive solution for general purpose measurement applications. They come bundled with complete accessories for accurate results and data logging. Featuring an easy to read display with an analog bar graph, it helps identify trends and fluctuating signals with a backlight for low light environments. Dual line display capabilities allow simultaneous measurements or math functions. It also comes equipped with numerous advanced features and a multitude of measure functions ensuring robust protection. The BK Precision 390B Series True RMS Multimeters offer Bluetooth connectivity that enables live data monitoring and logging from a mobile device. Check them out today at Mauser.com. We all encounter resistance from time to time, but what is the best way to test it? Here to explain is control engineer, David Peterson. Thanks, Andy. One of the most important jobs that any troubleshooting technician can have is understanding how to use the tools and test whether equipment is performing the way it should or not, and then they have to be able to replace the stuff that's broken. And when it comes to testing motors, there's a few different ways that works, and unfortunately that really depends on the kind of motor that you're using. We'll take this simple example of a DC brushed motor, where inside the brushes connect to the coils that are inside on the rotor, and that causes the alternation of electricity. Now in this case, the windings inside are called the field and the stator windings, and the interaction of those two windings creates a wire inside that acts as a resistor or a coil. If we want to measure the resistance of a standard motor, we take our multimeter and we switch to the ohms or resistance. We can connect, in this case, to the two leads of the motor, and we can see a value in ohms that's the resistance of the motor's winding. Now in this case, these are a bunch of windings in series with each other. In an AC three-phase motor, things get a little bit more difficult because there's three leads. Now what we're looking for in a motor is not a target resistance that tells us whether the motor is good or bad. You'll very rarely find that kind of information. Instead, what we're looking for is deviations or changes over time based on what it was when the motor was functioning properly. Now, there's five different scenarios for resistance changes. So let's start these. The first one is the resistance is the same as it was when you pulled the motor out of the box. The second scenario is the resistance has decreased slightly. This can be due to overheating when several of the wrappings around the wires begin to deteriorate and several of the windings inside have shorted together, effectively lowering the resistance of the wire. The resistance can also increase slightly, although this is more rare, except in the case of delta wound three phase motors, where there's two parallel routes to reach two terminals, but if one of those has opened or burned up, then the resistance will have increased, but not completely. The final two scenarios are extremes, where the motor winding has completely shorted, in which case the resistance is zero, or the, re the winding has completely opened, which means the resistance on the meter will read as OL, or open. Now in all, fi all five of these scenarios, we have to understand what those mean, and we also have to be able to interpret that based on the kind of motor that we're dealing with. 
In industry, most of the motors that we use are three-phase motors, and so the windings and resistances are a little bit more simple than they would be in the case of DC or stepper or some servo motors. Andy, back to you. Thanks for getting me out of the jam, David. The Canvas 1200 CX got the drywall done in two days, and by day three, the room was ready to be painted. How, you ask? Because the Canvas 1200 CX accommodates wall panels up to 12 feet, which is suitable for most projects. Battery powered with all wheel steering, it operates all day and maneuvers into tight corners for seamless wall coverage. The joint compound is applied via spray, ensuring consistent application and a sanding head with a vacuum removes 99.9% .9 of dust. This dust removal is crucial for both personal health and the longevity of the robotic platform. And brother, I can tell you, it saved me from... Oh, excuse me. Uncle Bill, it's... Huh?